Hey, John, this question comes in. I love it. It's such a thoughtful and intentional question. They're saying, hey, my parents are getting older and I don't want to have any regrets when they pass on. I want to make sure that I have a good, healthy relationship with them. And they're saying it's okay, but do you have any tips, any advice for me on kind of closing out that relationship, as it were, in a healthy way? I love that question. Um, I think it starts with two things. Number one, our most precious resource in the world, the one thing we cannot buy, you can never get back, is time. Mm. And when people we love are aging, especially our parents, there is no other currency like time. And the other currency is presence. What a gift that is. And so if you can find ways to be in proximity, wonderful. If you can find ways to connect, wonderful. Often, like I live in a different state than my parents. And so can I write letters? Can I engage in a pen pal relationship? Can we FaceTime? Can I make sure they know their grandkids? Can we have some of the hard end of life conversations? And that's awkward. It can be heartbreaking. It can be grief filled, but it can also be so life giving. And Les, I love how you asked that question. I don't want to ever get to the end of any relationship and not have that person know how much I love them yeah. and how much they meant to me. So I will say that over and over and over again as often as I possibly can. Yeah, I love that. And I think it's helpful, don't you, to, to just kind of take inventory. If they pass right now, what would I regret? That's a wake up go. call. That's an internal alarm yes. that goes, oh man, I now realize I got to do three things within the next month, That's right? Right. Um, right. And I also want to honor those whose parents won't be open to those calls who have been abusive, who aren't, they aren't, they just aren't great. Right. And some of that, some of that dealing with regret is, man, you got to process it. You got to grieve it. You got to own it. And then you got to be about healing. Yeah. That's a, that's so important. John, thanks as always. Thank you, brother.